Hello everybody, Max with Avon Website Pro here and today we're going to be talking about this little warning that people get. Warning, unlink. Uh, HTTP does not allow unlinking in PHP. So you might be getting this warning. If you are, this is a tutorial for you. And I'm going to show you guys how to unlink a file, but in that process I had to develop a little thing where you uploaded a file as well and here's a little file uploader and I'm gonna give you this this these scripts for free you can go download them on a website pro if you click the link in the description of this post and basically a person will choose a file and they would double click it or and, and upload the file and it will go through some checks and you notice uh, this particular extension JFIF is not allowed so let me just go ahead and uh, choose another file choose the oh that's JFIF as well let me go ahead and see if I can find one there's a dot JPEG see and so I'm going to click upload file and, and you'll be able to see the file up there if you click up here and refresh the page okay so you can see that the file has loaded but the problem people are having is when they go to delete these files they're getting that warning the warning about unlink now over here on the right you can see the the images that I as I upload them and delete them so let me go ahead and choose that image again and I'll upload it and keep your eye over here on the right whenever I click upload file you can see that it gets uploaded to this uploads folder okay and then in order to see it on the browser you just click there to refresh it and you can see it and now notice whenever I go to delete this file that it'll delete over here as well so let me go ahead and click delete and you can see that it takes the file out alright so what's going on here how are we making this work well, let me bring over the notepad and this is basically you have to create a, a directory called uploads and then you just have this index file and I'm posting this on a website pro now the first things first for the upload file I basically have a form and but what this is uh, the encoding type is multi-port form data this is so you can upload files this give us gives us our ability to upload you know pictures PDFs so on and so forth I start out with a label and the label is just a upload file but right here this input type file class I'm using bootstrap to give it some uh, make it look pretty the ID is file and the name of this particular input is file the next one is our submit button I give an ID of submit the name submit the type is submit and a class of BTN which stands for button in uh, bootstrap and button success will make the button green and that's what you have right down there okay and uh, you could do this and enter it into a database but I didn't want to go through all that uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to uh, delete using the un unlink feature and so uh, right up here at the top of the document this is all bootstrap stuff that I brought in so I didn't have to uh, deal with it this is the bootstrap uh, CSS and scripts we start out with a div class of container and I have this div class of well and uh, whenever a file is deleted that's what goes right this is we'll be going over this in just a second but for the picture to upload let me go ahead and put this here up upload file this checks to see if the post submit is is if it's submitted and we get this from the name on this file right here the input ID the name of submit so they're looking to see if somebody clicked that button and once it is it's going to check to see if a file exists and then it's going to create an errors array it's going to grab the name the size the temporary name and the type of file and then we're going to use the explode function in PHP of the file name okay and then we're going to make sure that we put all them in lowercase because of the fact that you know if they're uppercase lowercase uh, if you're especially if you're on a Linux system uppercase and lowercase matter so I always make them lowercase the file names and then right here I generate a random number 
uh, based on the time function in PHP to change the name of the file. So if we have one file named Mary, and then I upload another file named Mary, it's going to overwrite that image in our uploads directory. So in order to get, stay away from that, we change the uh, the name of the file. We use the time and then we randomize uh, numbers uh, 1 through 10 and put that in there. We take this uh, file name and we change it to uh, with, with the random you know we add the random number that we get right here to the file name and that becomes its file name. We check for extensions uh, JPEG, uh, JPG, PNG these are the ones that we want them allowed to upload and if you notice I had a problem with the JFIF I, if I wanted to enable JFIF all I would have to do is go type JFIF here and then if this uh, triggers an error okay we're going to let them know that this particular extension is not allowed and so we're going to allow them to upload JFIF so JFIF or PNG file. We're going to allow them to load the, upload those images. Now you could do PDFs. You can make this go with a, any type of file that you want the people to be able to upload. Here is we check for sizes. If the file size is any greater than two megabytes, then we're going to add that to the air and display a warning. Files must be exactly two megabytes. And then we're going to use a string replace. Uh, if there's any spaces, we're going to put hyphens in there uh, so there's no spaces in the, the file name. And if there's no empties, if there's no errors, uh, we see if the, if the errors are empty, then we're going to go ahead and move that uploaded file uh, to the uploads directory. Put the file name in there. And then we'll just alert that the Im image has bloated, or we could say file uploaded. Maybe it's going to be a PDF. Or else we'll have the uh, PHP print our errors. Else the file name is going to be none. That means they didn't even upload a file. And they <laughs> basically, uh, uh, you know, th this is, uh, if they click the button without loading an image, then it's going to say none. All right. So that's the upload part of it. But now what about whenever we go to delete a file? We want to be able to delete these files. And we see them de getting deleted from the folder. Well, how does that happen? Well, up here, I went ahead and uh, let me show you what I did here. So but first I get the path. I set the path and it's to uploads. And we use the scan directory of the path uploads. And we put that in a, in a variable called files. And we generate an array. And for each file as new variable. So we're taking these files as new variable because it's an array. And you can't just echo out files there. And so this is going to loop. And you notice the first thing we're doing is showing the image. And you can see that right here. You see, first thing you do is you see the image, okay? And there's two images in here, so you see two images. The next thing that we do is we start our form. And the method is going to be post. And now the input type is hidden. Now, if we, we put that to text, you could actually see the file name. I'll go ahead and save that. And uh, I'll reload the browser, and you can see the file name right there, okay? But uh, you just use that as hidden because it's really not necessary because you have the image there. So let's put that hidden. And the name of this is fname, short for file name. And the value is the new var because we're taking each file as the new var, and that's what gives us our uh, file name. The input type is submit, but now the name is delete. So, and the value is delete, and then we use this class to make it a red button. And you can see that right there. Okay, because that's default bootstrap. Now, whenever they click that, that button, what's it going to do? Well, it's going to go up here, and it's if is set post delete. So, it's looking to see if this uh, 
button was clicked on the on the post and we're going to go ahead and get that file name in that hidden variable now this is the best way to do it you use this get cwd function in php and that will give us our absolute path to the directory that we're in so you notice right here we are in the unlink directory okay now if you were in an admin directory you know uh, it would be getting admin so what it does is it gets that absolute path but but then notice that I had to concatenate and put uploads here because that's our uploads folder so we're actually in this directory in our index file but we want to delete the images out of the uploads directory okay and so we we grab that directory the path directory the get cwd and then uploads and then we store that directory and or we store that in a variable and then we put the variable in this unlink function into the file name okay and that's it that's 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 pretty much how you do it so let me go ahead and click save We'll go ahead and try to upload one of these JFIF files, maybe. Now that's a JPEG. Okay, let's. Now we can't find the JFIF file. There we go, JFIF. Let's click upload, and now we see that that file is indeed uploaded here in our uploads directory. And if we refresh the page, we can see that it's there. Let's go ahead and delete that file, and we can see that that file gets deleted. This is Max with AIM Website Pro. I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to get the files. The link is in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.